record and absorb the subculture. And what you've just been listening to is the ultimate in recorded sound. It will make all conventional disc and cassette systems obsolete. It's dustproof, scratchproof, digitally recorded, read by a laser, and it's called the compact disc. Hey everybody, welcome back for another another episode of the, D the Daily Disc here on uh, Midnight Cherry TV, uh, where we look at uh, we're looking at twenty straight days of different compact discs. Uh, we're filling up this uh, this CD tower, this old school vintage uh, kind of triangular uh, corner CD holder tower. Uh, but today we're looking at, at Blue Bob by uh, by David Lynch, director David Lynch, and John Neff, sound engineer. Uh, John Neff. But uh, before we get started, make sure you hit the like button or, or uh, unlike dislike button, subscribe or unsubscribe. I'll leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you're thinking of the daily disc. Uh, we are we are a quarter of the way through. Uh, we're trying to get uh, 20 CDs. We're doing 20 days straight, filling up this whole uh, 20 CD tower. Uh, but today we're kind of looking at something a little more, <clears throat> a little more obscure, a little more hard to find. Uh, released on David Lynch's uh, music label back in the day, Solitude. Kind of related to him, Blue Bob, uh, by director David Lynch. So, if you're not familiar with David Lynch, of course, director, writer, director of Twin Peaks, uh, Mulholland Drive, Lost Highway, Blue Velvet, uh, The Straight Story, Eraserhead, uh, Elephant Man, Dune, of course, uh, the 1980s Dune. But uh, David Lynch, a big, big music guy, very experimental with his film, uh, as well as a big, uh, kind of, music is a big part of his uh, his films. Uh, and all his work, really. Uh, it, well, not not so much music as so much as uh, sound. Uh, John Neff is a sound engineer, so they they both they both do vocals, they both sing, uh, and kind of talk. <laughs> um, it is definitely an experimental album. It's I would describe it as a industrial uh, industrial blues, industrial jazz. Uh, it is it is going to give you a feeling of like a factory. Uh, sort of a workaday feeling. There's, there's kind of uh, a lot of instrumental tracks, a lot of kind of jazzy, bluesy. Uh, we got some, we got some motorcycles going on in the back <laughs> here, here at the uh, Midnight Cherry TV uh, archives here. But uh, but Blue Bob guys, David Lynch, John Neff, pretty pretty good album. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rank this uh, album cover, uh, of course, of black and white photography. Uh, probably David Lynch, I believe, created this. This came out in 2002. I believe. Let me make. Let me double check. Two thousand one, guys. So it was a uh, one year off. Uh, <clears throat> there's your tracks. Nine one one rolling down to my house. Uh, thank you, Judge. I cannot do that. Factory interlude. Uh, Blue horse, bad night. Mountains falling. Go get some. Uh, Pink western range. Marilyn Monroe and uh, City of Dreams. So a lot of a lot of David Lynch. Uh, themes there, of course. You know, you've got night, uh, Hollywood. You know, definitely, definitely a lot of uh, David Lynch themes in terms of uh, titles. As far as uh, let's take a look, let's let's pop this open, guys. There's there's the actual uh, CD itself, the the double B Blue Bob, of course. Uh, Bob, one of the terms of uh, Twin Peaks, the killer, of course, uh, named Killer Bob. But uh, there's the album cover. Uh, I would actually probably give this a seven. Uh, I'm going to give this just a, a solid 7. I, I like the minimalism. It's a great photo. Uh, it's very uh, iconic from a, from afar. It's 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 kind of uh, visually kind of uh, alluring. Uh, but let's take a look through the liner notes, guys. There's David Lynch in a mask. John Neff with his uh, rocking a pretty good mullet right there, I believe. I believe that is John Neff. But uh, I think Eli Roth took that photo. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, horror director Eli Roth kind of uh, followed David Lynch around. But uh, that is David Lynch in a mask. Uh, the liner notes kind of a combination of pretty pretty good detailed stuff along with uh, kind of classic David Lynch stuff. A list of all the instruments, which is always appreciated. Uh, all the time. And then you got lyrics, guys. Lyrics. All the lyrics for all the tracks are here. So this is this is a great liner notes. Uh, high quality liner notes, guys. Uh, Thank you, Judge is, is a great song. Uh, if you're if if you've been uh, if you've had a breakup or uh, you're divorced, you might enjoy enjoy the song. Uh, Thank you, Judge. Sort of the lyrics are uh, everything uh, he lost in the divorce, and he's thanking thanking the judge. Uh, 
I cannot do that. It's pretty good. So, pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff, guys. It's definitely experimental. You know, if, if you're a fan of like uh, Zappa or Captain Beefheart, uh, Tom Waits, you know, um, I think I think you'll you can probably warm up to this uh, David Lynch album. Uh, it is definitely industrial, what kind of blues, jazz. It's it's uh, it's lighter than a Nine Inch Nails, but heavier than uh, let's say, you know, just a Julie Cruz uh, Twin Peaks album. But uh, but top four tracks. Let me give you the top four tracks. Let me, let me give you the musical ranking here first, though, guys. Uh, I gave the album cover a, a seven. I'm going to give the music a seven as well. This is this is definitely a good album. I, I'm I'm happy I bought it. I don't have the special edition uh, release of it with the box set of it or everything like that but uh, just kind of classic release uh, but it is definitely a good album definitely it is definitely a enjoyable uh you know almost hour of music i believe but it might be a little more longer than an hour got a lot of long tracks on here but uh yeah top four tracks i'm gonna say thank you judge um mountains falling uh rolling down to my house and uh, and probably either bad night or Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe is uh Kind of, uh, and there's like maybe four lyrics in the whole song. Uh, I think it's just uh, about Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> you know, you know, if you if you're a David Lynch fan, you should be prepared at least to, for some degree for the weirdness of this album. Uh, but it is actually pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play you a, a pretty long track. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna play you uh, "Mountains Falling," uh, which might have been on uh, it might have been in either Lost Highway or uh, Mulholland Drive, uh, one of those unreleased tracks. But uh, Blue Bob, giving it a 7 across the board for both uh, music and uh, art. I gave you the top four tracks. Uh, it, it's a hard-to-find album, but you might be able to download it for cheap uh, if you don't want the compact disc. But this, of course, is a compact disc review. So uh, a 7 and a 7, pretty solid. Uh, I'm going to put this into the CD tower here. There we go. We, we are filling up nicely. I'm going to have a, a nice drink of the uh, cherry juice here. We got the white cherry, white cherry juice here today, uh, but that's been five five episodes, guys. We're we're a quarter of the way done here with uh, with the daily disc season one. We got the uh, lava lamp going pretty pretty smooth over there. We've got five five compact discs filling up this tower. We're gonna we're gonna fill it up 20, 20 reviews, twenty straight days. Uh, but for now, I want you to sit back, and enjoy some some David Lynch and John Neff. Uh, Blue Bob, the kind of industrial blues, jazz, uh, sit back, relax, it's a seven, eight minute song, uh, chill out here on YouTube and uh, enjoy a little bit of this, and uh, come back tomorrow for another episode of Daily Disc, we'll look at something uh, pretty different, but uh, again, thank you, make sure you hit the like, comment, all that kind of good stuff, enjoy some David Lynch music.
With hardware and software both lined up, compact discs may well rule the roost, at least until someone perfects a method of putting Beethoven's ninth on a silicon chip. Don't laugh. I'm assured that that day, in fact, is not too far off.